Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're brand new and you're just finding me, my name's Olivia, and I would love it if you wanted to stick around a while, hit the red subscribe button down below, join my channel, and if you're a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. It's always so nice to see you. Um, I'm actually starting today's vlog. I have a day off of work, and I just thought, you know what, I might as well pick up my camera and just kind of... And just share with you what I'm up to this morning. I am going to be sharing a WW what I eat in a day today. However, it is a little bit of uh, a random day because I want to include a few clips from previous days when I was going to film. Like I was planning on it and then, you know, things popped up. But um, I have a little bit of footage from a day where I was going to take some photos and I thought I might as well include them in this vlog along with some WW meals. I am going to be heading out to Starbucks. It is uh, earlier today. I think it's around around 10 o'clock. So I'm going to be going grabbing a Starbucks coffee. I looked up one on TikTok. I looked up like a Starbucks coffee and this girl has one. I think it's three points on blue and it sounds delicious. Just wanted to say hi before I head out and um, also share with you my little my little outfit. So I'm wearing a little sweater. This sweatshirt is from H&M but it's from last year. I wish I could link it for you guys. It says girls empower girls and it's so cute and I love to wear little sweatshirts like this with t-shirts or with jeans because I feel like it's a really easy go-to spring outfit and it's beautiful out today. I would need like a little sweater so I feel like this is a good little go-to and then I'm also wearing some jeans. Oh no. So my camera is a little bit wobbly. My tripod anyway. So these jeans, I know you can't see my face, but I just want to show you these. These are from American Eagle. These are the mom jeans, the stretch mom jeans. And they are so, so comfy. I wear mine in a size 10 and I have lots of room in the back. Like they just feel super comfy. And they have like a straight leg at the bottom. I feel like this is not the greatest angle, but you know, what are you gonna do? I'm not the best at vlogging. They hug the waist, which is definitely something I look for. So we really like that. And it also comes up nice and high and they're just, just really comfy. I'll probably link the jeans down below if you're interested because the American Eagle curvy mom jean, comfort stretch waistband mom jean, stretch mom jean, all of that kind of area for jeans from American Eagle are my absolute favorite, my go-to, and I can't recommend them enough. So I will definitely link a few down below if you're interested. I'm going to go ahead and get on the road and go over to Starbucks, and I will meet you guys back in the car. Can you guys see me? Hello. I'm in the lineup at Starbucks. It's actually a little bit later today than I sort of anticipated, but this is what I'm going to be ordering. So where is it? I took a screenshot of this girl on TikTok. Um, let me see. So it says it's a venti cold brew, one pump caramel, one pump vanilla light cream. I'm excited. I'm slightly nervous that I would want like a, a stevia put in there as well. I found it off of a TikToker called channeling underscore Chelsea. So thank you, Chelsea, for this um, suggestion. It is, well, she didn't give it to me, but she put it on TikTok. And uh, she says it's three points on WW Blue. So really excited to try this. Hi there. Can I please get uh, a venti cold brew uh, with one pump caramel? one pump vanilla, uh, one stevia, and light cream, please. Anything else for you today? Uh, no, or sorry, actually, yes. Can I get the egg whites 
roasted red pepper bites. Of course. Anything else you today? That's everything. Thank you so much. Okay, so I grabbed the drink. Uh, I hope it's not too bright in here. I feel like there's gonna be two Starbucks tastings in this, um, I was gonna say film, okay? I'm in this video because I tried in a previous clip, I tried that brown sugar oat milk latte, shaken latte, um, or I'm not sure what it's called, espresso, espresso shaken latte. And uh, so now I'm trying this little drink. So I feel like there's a couple of different Starbucks options for you guys. I also grabbed my um, egg bites. So I just have my two little egg bites. I'll put the points up on the screen for these guys. They're so delicious if you haven't tried them. I mean, I'm sure everybody has. I'm, you know, not showing anything groundbreaking, but um, this is the drink. It's, it's a little bit darker than what I had envisioned. And also on the the actual screenshot let me see if you guys can even see it see hopefully you can see that if you can't I don't know maybe you can't anyways it's a, a very nice color whereas this one is like that dark it almost looks like it's made with almost almond milk or something it's very strong it is sweetened up with those pumps of vanilla and caramel I can taste them a little bit. I'm glad I did the sweetener because it would not have been sweet enough for me. I don't like coffee super sweet, but this is very, very strong. I guess I will meet you guys back for lunch. Don't know what I'm having. Don't know what's on the menu, but I will share with you whatever lunch is, and I will also share with you whatever the clips are. I'm not sure where I'm putting them in, but I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. So for lunch, we're having a really nice salad, which has quite a bit of uh, ingredients in it. I'm having some chicken with the sesame sticks, which are two points worth of these little um, Joe sesame sticks from Walmart. I have the kale salad, but I've added some roasted red beets. I've got some red pepper. I have some green onion and a little bit of honey mustard dressing, which is one point worth. So this is only three points for this entire salad and it is so yummy. Okay, so I'm just going to be making um French dip sandwich today. I found the recipe online and it looks like it's kind of like a WW friendly recipe. Really excited because I think it's gonna turn out really nicely in the crock pot and I don't have to worry about it. It's just going to sit in here for I think around eight hours and then we will have delicious fall apart uh, roast beef for little sandwiches tonight which I'm going to be using these uh, little crusty bread rolls. I think these are more sourdough, which I, I think is gonna be delicious. So what I have here, let me just talk through the ingredients. First, the main ingredient is our two pounds of, I got the inside round roast. You can grab um, rump roast, you can grab chuck roast, whatever works for you, but I grabbed that one. And then I chopped up one sweet onion, you can use whatever onion you'd like, but I just use one of the sweet onions. I also have about three cups of beef broth. I do know that in some recipes they also use a can of French onion soup mix or French onion soup in a can, but I didn't have that, so I just went ahead with three cups of the beef broth, no sodium, so no salt added, because we're adding salt in other places. I have two bay leaves to add in for flavor, and then I have over here I have some salt, some pepper. I wanted to be careful with how much salt I use because again, we're having salt from other places. So some salt, pepper, and then I have some garlic powder. I'm actually not the biggest lover of garlic, so I just did about half a teaspoon. I did one, um, a teaspoon of onion powder, and then I also have a tablespoon of rosemary. I think that's gonna be delicious. And then over here, I have, um, a tablespoon or I think it's a teaspoon I'll link which um, the website that I used of Worcestershire sauce I can never say that and then I also have some um, low sodium soy sauce so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding in all of this into my beef broth and I'll be giving that a good mix and um, that'll give a really good flavor to the beef broth and everything I'm gonna scrape out all the the rest of the salt as well but just so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a mix and then that'll be like a really flavorful broth um, on top of you know extra flavoring I do have another Oju packet that I grabbed like the clubhouse packet um, and then I lined this crock pot just so there's easy cleanup I've never used one of these 
little liners before, but I see everybody using them, and I just saw one at the grocery store when I was there, so I thought this will be great because it'll just be easy cleanup. So hopefully it's okay and it's not like, it's not going to, I don't know, melt. I would think they wouldn't, but we're going to have this, and then I'm just going to place my roast in here. I know some people sear it, but honestly, I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm not going to be searing it. I'm just going to go ahead and place everything into the crock pot, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so the beef is already in there. I'm just going to go ahead and place my onions, and I just want to shred them up as I place them. Just kind of get a good um, <clears throat> distribution of the onions. I don't know what I'm saying right now, uh, but I want them kind of spread out so they can cook down. Again, you could definitely saute these. I've definitely seen people do that. I chopped them pretty thick. They're not super thin, so... Um, oops. Putting the bay leaves in. And just so you guys can see what that looks like, just before I put in the broth. Actually, I'll show you from this angle while I pour the broth in. So I gave that a really good stir. And we're going in with the broth. I might want to put a little bit more broth in. So I might use the rest of a container of beef broth that I have. So it'll be probably four cups of broth for me. I really like it. Definitely juicy and liquidy, but I'm going to put my crock pot on low and it's just going on low and it's going to be about eight hours maybe. That's kind of what I'm reading, but I will check it definitely periodically and I'll let you guys know later. But I thought I might include like a little bit of extra content for you guys. Just for fun, just to take you along. Right now my plan is I would really, really like to go and take some pictures outside, try and find like a very blank wall, something like that. I never do that. That is a definitely like a blogger thing to do. I just am really bad at that kind of stuff. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to really set up. I'm really, really nervous. I'm really intimidated to do things like that. So, I hope I can find somewhere that's really like empty and has that plain wall type of look to it. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm going to try and I just thought I would bring you guys along. I have my water with me, but I do think I want to stop and grab a Starbucks just for like some caffeine um, to get me energized and yeah. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get going and get on the road and then I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I just wanted to uh, quickly share with you coffee that I just grabbed. I had to drive up further because the Starbucks near me both were closed, which, what's that about? So I had to come out further towards where I was driving anyways, so it actually wasn't the worst thing to happen because I was coming out this way anyways. I wanted more of like an industrial feel or some a setting like that. So I went and got the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso because I haven't tried it yet. I am probably the last person to try it. Um, but I, you know, basically, I feel like I look like I have shoulder pads on because of my, because my jacket's puffing out a little bit at the top. I don't have shoulder pads in, but you know, it would be fine if I did, but I don't. Anyways, um, so I wanted to try the hot and the cold because you know we're not playing games. I just did a little taste test on Instagram. This is, for me, wouldn't be my go-to because it's a little bit sweet. It definitely has the oatmeal cookie flavor or why am I getting like a ginger snaps cookie? I don't know, but it's good. It's just a little too, a little too sweet for me and I don't like adding a lot of flavor to my coffee. The only flavored coffee I will say I like is more caramel, like I do love a caramel macchiato, I love my caramel premier protein, and then that's pretty much it. Sometimes I don't mind a vanilla. I don't mind it, but I just love plain cream and sugar. That's it for my coffee. I also got the hot. What I will say about the hot is it feels less sweet to me. So it doesn't, to me, It doesn't taste as sweet. I still get that like sugary flavor and it also feels very like it tastes almost quite festive to me. Like coming up to the holidays, you want something that's kind of that warm, 
uh, sugary flavor. It does give me very much like a holiday type of vibe. So I am surprised that it's uh, come out kind of in the spring. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm alone on that, but they are good. Definitely not going to be my go-to because again, I like it either plain or I'd say I'd go more towards like caramel. But yeah, so okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get back on the road, go and see if I can find somewhere, and um, I'll take you along, we'll see. This could go nowhere, it could go nowhere. So we'll see. Okay, so I found a little spot, it is behind like a little building, and it's gonna work. I wanted more so like white brick background. I found a spot, but then there were too many cars driving by, so I got a little bit, a little bit camera shy, so I felt like I wanted to find somewhere a little slightly more remote, but still safe. I still want it to be like a safe area. Um, so I just found this. I think it's like bright enough that I could brighten it up to make it even look a little bit more white if I was gonna post this for a photo, or it could just be good and I could just leave it as is. But um, I'm basically gonna try and see if I can put on a couple of different outfits, changing in the back seat of my car. Um, really, really new to any of this. I know that I've been doing like YouTube for a while, Instagram, and I have obviously done quite a bit of modeling, but never just by myself and setting up things like to take pictures alone. So this is very new to me, but this is my little outfit. I don't know if you guys can see if it's too, too bright. Um, little jean jacket. This one is from The Gap. It's just a little cropped jacket. I got it in a size medium because it's super oversized. You can see. And then I just have this old like lilac bodysuit on and then my Yvette leggings, which I wear all the time. They're super nice with the compression in the tummy. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going to try and maybe get a couple of pictures either with this outfit and then I have a few other ones in mind, but I don't know. We'll see. And then I'm going to be heading home because I do have some more filming to do back there. So I'm going to try and wrap it up quickly here and then head back home. Okay, so here I have my little picnic snack. This is my afternoon snack to get me through the afternoon lulls. Does anybody else get that? I'm on my third um, cup of water here in my Starbucks cup, and I have this like picnic snack plate that I love. It makes me feel like a kid again, and it gets some extra fruits and veggies in. So I have some fresh market strawberries. I have some broccoli, green apple, cucumber, and snow peas. And then I have a little bit of fat-free ranch. I think it's about a point's worth of ranch for my, my broccoli and snow peas. And it's just a perfect way for me to get a little bit of extra snacking in the afternoon. And I just think it's colorful and very pretty. Okay, so guys, it's done. I just wanted to show you the finished product. It is only been on for, I think it just over five and a half, maybe it's about five and a half hours. This is like perfect for us. We definitely like medium rare in terms of our meat, but this is like fall apart. I don't even know if you can tell by just like pushing it this way. It's very steamy. So I'm just literally gonna let it sit in here and I'm just gonna kind of turn it a little bit so it can get nice and you know, it's just, I don't even know how to explain. It gets so tender, like flaking apart. I'm definitely not doing this justice, but I don't want it to be too overdone. So I, we don't plan on eating for another hour or so. So I've just turned it off. I'm just going to probably put it on the warm setting and I'm going to let it hang out in here. And then I will make a little sandwich later, but I just wish you could smell it because it smells beautiful in here. Okay. So it's finally time to plate this up. I'm not gonna have cheese on my roll. So um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be having these rolls here and I'm not gonna be having cheese on mine and shredding, you know, or having melted cheese on mine, but definitely I would say that's very common for French dip sandwich, but I just want a straight up beef sandwich and I'm gonna be having a glass of red wine with it. So that's gonna be my dinner for tonight. So I'm gonna plate it up and I will show you what it looks okay. like. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. It is actually a huge roll. I honestly, I'm not gonna be able to eat this whole thing or maybe I can, I don't know, we'll see. But I'll let you know in the, in the um, like on the screen if I do end up having the whole thing and what the points end up being. Because right now this whole like roll with six ounces of beef and then I've also got on um, onions on here like the caramelized onions I just left that for you guys to see and I don't need any like 
I don't need any butter on this. I don't need any mayo. Again, I don't like cheese on mine. I just like it to be super like the bread, the roast beef, the onions, and then I dip it right into the au jus, which is just, I mean, I could drink it. It's so good. It like tastes amazing on its own. And then I also have um, five ounces of red wine here, which I'm going to have with it. And then I also have my water. This is my, I think this is my fourth one for the day. So we're looking good in terms of water and that's that. So I'm probably just going to finish off my day here with this and that'll be dinner. So that's, uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this like little crock pot, what ate in a day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, type of meal. It's delicious, trust me. If you are intimidated by you know making something in the crock pot, try something like this because you will not be disappointed. It is incredible and if I can do it, trust me, you can do it too. So, so delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into all of this and probably watch a little bit of Good Girls. So. That's I just that. thought I would close out the video really quickly over here and just say thank you again for watching today's What Ain't A Day on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It really means the world and thank you so much for being here. If you want to join for future videos, definitely do remember to hit the red subscribe button down below before you leave so you're here for future videos and you also join this amazing community. Um, I would love to have you. And don't forget, you can always have me over on Instagram. So if I'm like, you know, if you're wondering what I'm up to, I post a lot over at Instagram and my stories and like what I'm up to. I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there as well, so definitely you can find me over there. And I've been posting a lot on TikTok, so I've been really enjoying TikTok for some fun videos, so you can find me over there as well. But yeah, today's video was a little bit all over the place, so I really hope you enjoyed it and just some of the extra random footage. Let me know if you enjoy that type of, you know, content included, just little things of what I'm doing and what I'm up to. Um, I'm not always the best at remembering to bring my camera with me places and honestly, I'm not really going a ton of places so I just figured it's fun to include here and there when I'm, you know, if I'm heading out, I can try and remember to bring the camera as well. So um, yeah, I will definitely be back next week with another What Ate In A Day video. And I also have more videos coming up this week in terms of clothing hauls and things like that. So thanks again for watching, guys. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up uh, before you leave. And um, yeah, thanks again. I hope you're having the best day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.